So this is COVID Mexico. Look at these benches. You give us the choice, fruit, yogurt, granola. I got some kind of tostada. I got chilaquiles. Awesome little boxes. They're all handmade, you can really tell. Family, friends, occupations. So excited for this. So she got crickets and guacamole. I don't think she's gonna eat this. Good morning guys from Mexico City. We just arrived here last night and we're so excited to be in Mexico. It feels good to be here. We were super tired last night and all day yesterday from our long journey. We got a good night's sleep and now we're ready to go. We are gonna show you one of the coolest neighborhoods in Mexico City. And for those of you who don't know what Lindsay meant by a long trip, we were stuck in Peru for the last six months. And now we're finally in another country, so we're gonna explore Mexico a little bit and show you a bunch of food and everything else that's exciting about Mexico. We have three days here, so we're gonna make the most of it and show you everything we can. We're really excited for some amazing food mm -hmm. and maybe some museums, history, parks. We'll see. Wow. We just saw these two guys with face paint all over. They looked like clowns or mimes doing certain whatever to get tips. What were they even doing? Uh, they confetti. they washed the windshields of cars to get some to get tips on and his too. <laughs> our Uber driver tipped him. Mm. So that was that was cool. The odd jobs Mexico that you have fun. to get in Mexico during this time. Okay, we just got to the main plaza. It's so colorful. So we're in the neighborhood of Coyoacan and a bunch Coyoacan. of colors, things open. There are slushy drinks, alcohol, food. Wow, it's very different from where we've been. It seems much more free here in Mexico than it was in Peru. Except there are seats like this. You can't sit on the we benches. <laughs> We got place uh, on the terrace. We are at Cabo Cayote, and it's pretty much connected to this whole plaza here. So beautiful place. There are a lot of colors behind us, which is awesome. The colors of Mexico. That's what I love the most. We uh, asked a local, and this is what he suggested. So we came. And the prices are a little more expensive than what we're used to uh, since we were just in Peru. But not this, a lot because yeah. we're in Mexico City. And it, this neighborhood's pretty nice, so we think that might be why the prices are higher. Yeah, so we're looking at getting some omelets or chilequiles or something like that. Thank you. You're welcome, Mom. Ooh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. You're Gracias. welcome. Thank you. <laughs> pongo? Okay. Wow. Do you want? Queso, hey. yogur. All right, we have a couple cafe lattes, and then we got fruit. You give us the choice, fruit, yogurt, granola, different yogurts. You could have it or you could not. You could just have fruit. Everything looks so good. And then a juice on the side, and we haven't gotten our main meal yet. So I got some kind of tostada. These come with it. Tostada, these crispy corn wafers with some eggs in there and a mole sauce, I think. Refried beans, platano. And then I got chilaquiles, chicken chilaquiles. Chilaquiles. And we have someone who's playing some live music for us. I don't think I can film him or else I'll have to pay. Mm -hmm. 
So that was probably the best chilaquiles I've ever had. We love Mexican food. In the US we grow up with Mexican food, especially in California. I used to have Mexican food all the time whenever I was home uh, before we got stuck. So yeah, this was good. It was a little bit of home and Mexican food is just some of the best in the world. So this was great. Yes. Now we're gonna go walk around and show you what this neighborhood has in store. So uh, like we said, we're in the neighborhood of Coyoacan and that actually means coyote. These statues in this park represent the coyotes. The coyotes of Coyoacan. But uh, it's COVID time right now, as we showed you. Uh, we can't get into a lot of these plazas in these parks. They're roped off. And look, right across the way, a beautiful church, and you can't get in there either. Yeah. So we can show you these things from afar. We can tell the park looks gorgeous. Perfect spot to just sit and have some juice or coffee. Yeah, Mexico City is beautiful. It actually has a lot of greenery, even though a lot of people probably wouldn't think that. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful city and we want to show you as much as we can today and tomorrow. So last time we were in Mexico, we had some avocado ice cream. Aguacate, polta, ice cream and we actually really liked it. So I think we might get some again, or maybe I'll try something new, but Lindsay loves avocado, so she should probably get that. They have about a hundred flavors here, but Palta's my favorite. And it's hard to find Palta ice cream everywhere else, so, or aguacate, since we're in Mexico. So I got the chocolate con kisses. Kisses like the candy bar, I guess, like a white kiss. And I got a vanilla and aguacate ice cream cone. Wow, there are dos aguacate, it looks like, on top. Mm. Can't beat aguacate oh, yeah. ice cream. Perfect blend of sweetness, creaminess. It's not too sweet. And it tastes like avocado. It's awesome. Mm. Now let's go walk around. So this is COVID Mexico. Look at these benches. They don't want anyone to sit in any of the benches and gather around. So look how they stop people. Just caution tape over the whole thing. All of these, all of these. Okay, we just arrived at our main destination of the day, besides food, which is Mercado de Coyoacan. It's massive. So there's a lot of stuff outside. We already began looking, but now we're gonna go inside. They have a bunch of stuff. So this is one of the best places, I think, to get Mexico souvenirs and things. Let's go <laughs> check it out. DVDs. Look at all these places to eat. They all look amazing. They have tacos, you get to choose. What do you want in your tacos? They have a bunch of options. Shrimp, beef, foil, everything. Ah. Tostada. Rita Gallo, we're gonna go to her house soon. Where she was born. So look at these awesome little boxes. They're all handmade, you can really tell. And everyone is different. 
They have different scenes from culture, family, friends, okay, occupations. And I'm gonna get an artist one. Ah, that's the one the photo. Alright, I got one for right now. And Lindsay got one of these cool skull bracelets. <laughs> yes? These bigger ones, some of them might be more. Um. There's a clown one. Look at that. I'm so excited about this purchase. Seven dollars for this. <laughs> Seven dollars for this. And oh. usually these are really scratchy on the outside, so I wasn't gonna get it, but it's very soft on the inside with this particular one. <laughs> he wants Lindsay to put on the hat. Truly Mexican. So yeah, this was about uh, $7. And look, they have a bunch of other colors here. Wow. So yeah, this come to the Coyoacan Mercado. It's mango loco. Mango with chili powder on it to make it spicy. Very Mexico. I like chili powder and spice on everything. I've been waiting all week for this. Or ever since we knew we were coming to Mexico, I wanted a margarita. I could just taste it in my mouth. And now finally we're gonna have our first margarita in Mexico in the last six months. So we went to probably six places looking for someone who offered a good price of margaritas and something that was like a happy hour, like a two for one or something. And it took us six places until we found one that would do exactly what we wanted. So and we wanted some place where we could sit outside and enjoy the weather. Alright, here they are. So excited for this. So I got frutas rojos, so like red fruits. Don't know, it'll be like berries or something like that, maybe like raspberry and things. Uh, strawberries, I'm it guessing. Came recommended. And it has either a salt or a sugar on this. Salt. Woo! So it has salt on there, and then Lindsay, what did you get? I got the classic lemon margarita. Traditional. And it has, what is this called again? It's like a chili. No, what's it called? They use it all the time, like, Woo. what's it called? I always, I always forget. We're gonna have to ask him in a second and let you know. pregunta. ¿Cómo se llama? Tajin. Tajin. I had to ask the waiter. I've had this many times. I love tahini. It's like a chili kind of powder. You can have it with fruit, drinks, tons of things. Mexico does it right. Food, drinks. So good. We paid, mm. I think we paid $2 each for these because it was 80 pesos and we got two for 80. So $2 right. each. And we have this whole outside area to ourselves. Awesome. So there's definitely a strawberries in it and something else. There might be a reason this place gave us happy hour. <laughs> so there weren't many people sitting at this place. We went by a lot of other restaurants that had a lot of people. But this one, we wanted to be away from people. We thought, hey, I don't know. Maybe it's because of lockdown. There's no nobody here. No people equals warning sign number uno. Okay, so our margaritas, they are not that great. I mean, yeah. They're, they're kind of weak and they could be better. Yeah, they're not that sweet. My first sip, I thought it was good, but then as I drank more, I'm like... <laughs> and uh, I got some tacos because one of the stipulations of getting the happy hour kind of thing is that you have to get some food. And we didn't really want to get food here, but we got something decently cheap. So I got three tacos. And then Lindsay got what she thought was chips and guacamole. Well, look what she got. Crickets. I think it's called like chimpiones or something similar. I didn't know what it was. I said, is it chips and guac? And he said, yeah. So crickets, we meet again. Last time we were in Mexico, we ate something with crickets on it, or I ate some of it and Lindsay really couldn't eat it at all. The legs are freaky. So she got crickets and guacamole. I don't think she's gonna eat this. I'll try one, but 
It's not my favorite thing. The waiters, like, they're very good here in Mexico. They probably are. It's just a mental oh. thing I can't get over. Yeah. The crispy legs and all that, you know. It's hard to get past. <laughs> you can see the legs on there, the antennae, the leg. Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, the feet, everything. So, there it is. Let's try a cricket in Mexico. And I'm gonna stick with regular chips and guac. The, the taste is not bad. It's like they put a lime in it How's and a texture? salt. It's like pretty salty. And the texture, I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Texture, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. There's nothing you'll eat that's like the texture of a cricket. Not our favorite. <laughs> but hey, at I, least we tried it. I'm so gonna wash it down. Wash it down with the cheap margarita. All right, now time for some tacos. Oh. That was a weird experience. We ate it La Celestina and we thought it was cool at first. We wanted margaritas. As we said, the margaritas weren't great. We were served crickets when we didn't know. <laughs> and then they tried to give us a price which was not the price that they gave us. I think it might have been an honest mistake, but then we had to argue with them for quite a while. They didn't just fix it and it was like over three dollars. And yes, we could have just ate the three dollars, but it was just the, what's the word? It was that they told us a price and then they tried to take it back and they wouldn't just give us the price that they actually gave us. That was the whole reason we went there. <laughs> we went to five other places, we landed there just because of their good price, and then they took it away after. And you guys, a similar thing kind of happened at our breakfast. <laughs> we got a combination platter of breakfast, and then with our fruit, right with the fruit, they're like, oh, here's yogurt and granola, want some? And we're like, yeah, because we thought it came with it. And then they charged us for it later. So be careful of that. Another thing that happened, it was really creepy. The guy pulled out his phone to like try to translate something to us and the flash was on and he took a picture of, I think me. And I was like, why did you take a photo? And he tried to say it was for Facebook so it didn't happen again or something. That makes no sense. I think we caught him. He didn't know the flash was on and... And then he ran away before he could be confronted uh, about it and try to show us the picture. That would probably be very creepy. Creepy. Let's see what happens at our next meal keep the streak going and now we're on our way to the Frida Kahlo house if you yeah. don't know Frida Kahlo she is a painter a Mexican painter an artiste very famous muy famoso so this here is the blue house this is where Frida Kahlo lived, and although she traveled and went to other areas of the world, she would always return to Mexico City, where she would live in the Blue House. So, she's probably one of the most famous painters ever, so. We wish we could go in and see it, but it's closed. Because of COVID, many things are closed, even in Mexico. But we still had a great day. We've got to experience a lot of this neighborhood and amazing food, mm -hmm. well, mostly amazing food. Hey look, it's a food truck. Hey, tuna. Tuna fruit. Tuna. All right, we're tired from the day. It's 5.30, but we had a long journey yesterday on the plane. And so we're gonna show you guys more tomorrow. But we're looking at Ubers right now. I just found one to get back. And it's 75 pesos. So what is that, Lindsay, about? Uh, <laughs> that's like... Lindsay's like... not as good at Mexican pesos as she was at Peruvian Sole because we were there for like six months. Okay, it's a little under $4. Let's see. 75? Yeah. Less than $3.50. Let's take it. So we have the COVID stuff, you have to wear a mask, all of that. That's how Uber is operating these days. Okay, our Uber is coming in three minutes, but we just saw that there's 
coconut water over here out of the actual coconut. I've I think. never tried that before. Alex said it's really good. It's the only way that I have coconut water and Lindsay uh, likes the sound of that. So, oh. And we're a little bit thirsty and dehydrated. So, so. let's do it. <laughs> coco or crema de coco? Is it crema de coco or possible solo coco? Coco agua? <laughs> si. Yeah, so you could do the oh. like straight out of the coconut that looks or like good. a. Is this just leche y coco? No, it's crema de coco. No contiene leche. Crema de coco. So, y este so es coco. coco. Oh, they just blend it. Maybe. Azúcar or solo coco? Coco con agua. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try coconut crema. She said it's just coconut and water. They probably blend it up. So we'll see how it is. Uh, ¿Cuánto cuesta? El medio litro en 15 o el litro en 30. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. ¿Cómo está el vaso? El medio yes. litro en 15 o el litro en 30. Good. Yes, yeah. why? Mami. Yeah. Okay. Medio o un litro. So this is quince, which is 15 pesos, less than a dollar. We're just going to give her a dollar. Okay, gracias. No cambio. Gracias. Alright, here's our Uber. Where do you come from? Uh, well, that's a compliment. arrived in Mexico last night. Oh, <laughs> Honeymoon. Uh -huh. <laughs> Kind of. Yeah, yeah. Here it is. So it's like a creamy white drink and... Mm. Okay, that is so good. I'm glad we got that. It's wow. very hydrating and refreshing. I've never tried one of these before. I like just having the straight water straight out of the coconut I raw. I love but... that. It's not too thick. Oh, wow. It's perfect. It's like a creamy water. Hmm. It's a little sweet, but not overly... Is this better than what you normally had, or? I still prefer the straight out of the coconut. I like that. But that is pretty. That is very good. A lot of people would like that. Mm -hmm. It's just a little too sweet for me. It's not that sweet, but I prefer no sweetness. <laughs> it's good though. Mm. You should try this definitely when you come to Mexico. <laughs> so we. That was cool. There was like two guys with face paint that were kind of like clowns or memes. And they're looking for tip what? What? They were what? Clowns or meme mimes? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Let me Clowns read. or memes, Lindsay says. Okay. The internet sensation in the flesh, a meme. Okay, redo. Uh, but we still had a great day. We've got to experience a lot of the snow bread and amazing food mm -hmm. well mostly amazing food yeah and saw some amazing souvenirs <laughs> amazing cool. souvenirs hey guys we can only do so much on youtube and we only put out a video every two or three days so if you want more if you want daily stuff you should head to instagram find us at alexander travel bum and that's where you'll find daily stories and photos about our travels Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you want to watch more, click one of these videos. Subscribe because I'm traveling all around the world and I'm sharing the whole thing with you. Thanks.